trouble in the territory of Kamchatka, a massive troop buildup along the border could threaten the tenuous ceasefire. With As fighting spilled into Irkutsk today, analysts are worried that the conflict could spread through the entire region. General Mikatopans had this to say. Chairman Miao's blatant, unprovoked attack demonstrates that we are not dealing with a rational individual. But look, if he wants a cat fight, we'll give him one. <laughs> Startling developments tonight. The zombie horde that emerged last week has now taken all of Australia, Indonesia, and New Guinea. Their advance into Southeast Asia has been halted, but no one knows for how long. In his first interview, Colonel von Stippenberg, enigmatic leader of the zombie forces, had this to say. Uh, brains. <laughs> The supercomputer that runs the nation's defense system became self-aware at 1.05 p.m. today. A moment later, decided to eradicate all life on Earth. Fortunately, it was not able to launch any nuclear missiles due to a floating point error. Yes, yes, it's, it's regrettable our defense supercomputer has turned on us and is now amassing a giant robot army in Quebec. However, you go to war with the supercomputer you have, not the supercomputer you want. Two weeks after rebelling, the robot army has taken over all of South America. Upon taking the continent, the robot spokesman had this to say. All your base are belong to us. Mr. President, we have cats attacking from Iceland. Zombies moving up from Yakutsk, not to mention the robot army trying to take over the world. I can't help to say, things are grim. Huh? Yes? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Mermaids? How do they... On segways. Mr. President, uh, we're gonna need a new man.